Hello my friends! In this tutorial we will talk about the context transition in DEX. This is one of the most difficult concepts in the DEX language and it is very important for you to understand it from the beginning. First we will look at the definition on the context transition and then we will see a practical example. So we start with the definition. Context transition happens when you use a measure inside an iterator function. Okay, another definition would be context transition occurs when a row value becomes a column filter. Or a simplified explanation is this, when you have to change the granularity of a table in a formula, you need a context transition and this can be forced only with calculate function or a measure. Okay, so in summary, in order to have a successful context transition, you have a change of granularity plus the calculate function or a measure. Okay, so let's see an example. We have a table, a transactional table with the sales order date. We see that in each day we have multiple orders. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to calculate the best sales day in each of the month. Okay, in each month, what was the maximum selling day and what was the value practically? Okay, so we start with a simple formula, with a simple measure called best selling day. Okay, let's see. We have the max six iterating function over the sales table, and then we put the measure total sales. The measure total sales is a simple measure calculating the sum of the extended amount. Okay, so we have this best sales they measure, but we see that the values are not correct. Okay, we go back to the table and we see that each day have multiple orders. So the maximum uh, selling day, it's difficult to be calculated because they are not aggregated. So what we must do is to iterate over a virtual table with days. Now we iterate over the transaction of each day. So it is not correct when it tries to calculate the maximum. So we comment the sales table and we put instead of it a virtual table values calendar date which takes distinct days every day okay and now when we press enter we see that the calculation is correct we get what we want Okay, so let's try to understand what happens. We have here an explanation about what is happening. When we have this correct formula, as I told you, the values calendar date creates a table with a column with unique dates. And then each row of the column is transformed in a filter on the sales table. Okay, so the row from this 
table becomes a filter in the transactional table. This is the context transition, okay? When a row value becomes a column filter. And in the wrong formula, this did not happen. Let's go back and try something else. Instead of the measure total sales, let's put its formula. Okay, because total sales is the sum of sales extended amount. Okay, we comment total sales and instead of it we put the sum sales extended amount. Let's see what happens. Theoretically it should be correct to give the same answer. But as you see, it is not returning the correct number. It actually puts all the sales of the month. Okay, so why is this happening? We go back to the explanation for this case. When we put the formula instead of the measure, we no longer have the calculate because a measure have calculate automatically inside it. Okay, you either write calculate sum sales extended amount or put directly the measure. When we put it like this, no context transition occurs. Okay, that's why the row from here is not forcing to be a filter here in the sales uh, table. And in order to force it, we go back and wrap this inside the calculate okay we comment this and we put calculate and now you will see that we have the correct answer like the one with initial values calendar date total sales it is the same okay so you understand in the first example we went in every single row of the sales table of the transaction so we had to move up the granularity of the sales table from a transaction level table to a day level table and then calculate the sales of every single day and then extract the maximum okay so remember in order to have a successful context transition, you have to have a change of granularity, like we saw from the row, okay, the transaction level, to another granularity, the day level, okay, and then you have to have a calculate formula. So, this is in short the theory of the context transition. I hope you found it useful. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.